Shulk. Fiora. What's wrong? Sorry. My body feels a bit strange. I think I just need to rest. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can take a break here. I wonder what happened after the fortress. Where did the others all end up? The Monado's light is fluctuating. That Mekon really messed it up. But still, I have to protect Fiora. Shulk, can't you sleep? Sorry, did I wake you? No, it's okay. I slept really well. You want to eat? You must be hungry. No thanks, but I'd like some water. Okay. You should eat, even if you're not hungry. You need to get your strength back. <sighs> no, I'm fine. This body has its uses. I never need to eat. I never get hungry. I just run on water. Don't worry. <sighs> I prefer my old body. But this one has some advantages. Shulk. You can leave me. It's okay. What? I mean, look at me, Shulk. This body is a Mekon body, so I should live here on Mekonis. This is where I belong. You don't have to do that. The Fiora you knew is dead. Just think of it like that. It's for the best. But I can see it's not true. I mean, you're right here. I'll never forget how I felt when I thought I'd lost you back at the colony. I should have done something. I thought if only I had the power to save you. Shulk. No. No more regrets. I will protect you. Besides, there's someone else inside your head. We can't leave her there. Mm, I guess not. Uh. Mekon! No! Not now! Shulk! Let me... <sighs> Fiora! Right. Come on, Manada. Don't let me down. The Monado bends to your will. No! I won't let you take her from me! This time, I will protect Fiora! Yes! The Monado's light! I can do this! Monado. It worked, but I feel worse than before. Whatever he did to the Monado is... What's that sound? No! We're surrounded!
Oh, Ooh. where are we? You're up then. Charla. What happened to us? I don't know. I've only just come round. Where are the others? I look for them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh. Ryan. Um, thanks. Huh? For protecting me back there. Yeah. It got rough, but at least you got out safe. What is it? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even keep a promise. I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? In the old days, Shulk was kind of frail. You know, like a little bunny that gets bossed around by the other colony animals. It was me who used to be there to save him. That's why I promised Fiora. But now look at me. Ryan. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Ryan I know. Do you remember Colony 6? Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the Colony. Thinking about it, I realized they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, they could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defense Force suffered its fair share of pain, and not just physical. Mm. Friends and family, alive one day, gone the next. It all became so normal. You end up wondering how you can possibly make a difference when war is so futile. I'm not the only one who felt like that sometimes. But nobody ever gave up. And you know why? Because you were strong? We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, you'd lose everyone you loved. So we had to keep looking straight ahead. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Don't go doubting yourself, even if things get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Get it? I get it. So now what? We go looking for Shulk and Fiora. I might be like a third wheel, but I can still lug around the heavy stuff. Finally! That's the Rhine I know. Um, back there? Were you talking about that guy, Gado? Not just about him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, seems like tough competition for a guy like me. <laughs> Rhine. Do you think Shulk and the others are okay? Of course they are. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> Back to your old self, I see. Right, we better get looking.
What's that sound? Someone's in a fight. Up ahead. Shulk! Rhyme! I got your back! We'll turn them into scrap! Right! Good to see you. I knew you'd make it, Shulk. Thanks to you. Ryan! Ryan, it's you! Fiora! She remembers us! Yeah. She's been through a lot. I can see. Wow. If only we could find Dunbar. Yeah, he'll be blubbering at the sight of us. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever cry in front of you two. So he does cry? When no one's watching? Yep. He's always been like that. He's a big softy, but he hates anyone seeing it. I never knew. Nope, I don't believe it. Take it easy. I'm okay. I want to see my brother. Let's go, Shulk. If you can't walk, I'll carry you. <laughs> I'm much heavier now. I've been pumping my guns. I can see. Ryan, you really looked after Shulk for me. I wanted to, but it feels more like he's the one who's been protecting me. That's not true. It's okay. I know it, you know it. I'm not here to protect you anymore. But you are here for something. Yeah. What I did just now. It don't matter how strong you get, you ain't got eyes in the back of your head. So I've got your back. Ryan, you... Ryan, you're like a whole new person. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's good you've become so dependable. Was I that undependable before? Take it as a compliment. Ha! You haven't changed a bit. What would we do without you? <laughs> right, let's go. You want to see my brother cry, don't you? Yeah, wouldn't miss it.
What is it? I can hear something. What? I can't hear anything. Maybe our sense of hearing isn't strong enough. Low sounds. More than one. Watch out! Something's here! Stop for Ricky. Oh, Ricky very hungry. And Ricky sleepy. If Ricky not rest now, Ricky not keep going. Hmm. Well, we can't have that, can we? We'll rest here before going any further. Melia, do you need to rest? I am fine. Good. Break time. What's this? Here upon Ricky have big fight with fish. Ricky win. Grilled fish taste yum yum. Ah, dum dum eat too. I thought you said you couldn't move if you didn't rest. Oh, Ricky very tired. But Ricky very hungry too. Huh. How considerate of you. Huh. Ricky not understand dum dum. Don't try to hide it. You realized Melia was lagging behind. She would never admit how tired she was. That's the real reason, you ask. Hmm. Now that's good fish. Even in this strange place, at least the fish tastes like it should. Ricky glad dun dun like yum yum fish. Yeah, thank you. But Ricky tired too, and Dundon not look happy. What's this? Am I that transparent? Ricky want to hear Dundon's story. Ricky listen carefully, for Ricky is the hero bon. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. Well, seeing as you're here, I'll tell you. Yeah! Ricky listen. I have a sister. Her name is Fiora. Ricky, no. She wears silver armor. Shulk look everywhere for her. Indeed. Shulk and Fiora, everyone knows they like each other. But they're just not ready, I suppose. They're the perfect match, but if they don't hurry up and tell each other... Even Ricky know that. I suppose everyone does. But now Fiora has become... something else. She forget Shulk. She forget Dundun, too. She did. But Shulk won't give up that easily. Knowing that he's out there looking for her fills me with hope. I just wish I was there with him. Dundun, take care of them. Hmm? Dundun, watch over Shulk. Dundun, watch over Fiora. That is all a daddy pawn can do. Ah, Ricky, make mistake. Dun Dun not Daddy Bon. Well, I am her older brother. But just like Daddy Bon, watching over family. Same watch over. Dun Dun do what he must. Huh. Who would have thought it? I never imagined I'd be getting such advice from you. Ricky have big family of little Bon. Ricky raise and say goodbye to many little Bon. Ricky know some things. You can say that again. I had you all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like the others are here. Unfortunate. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone's safe. Everyone's strong. Ricky is right. It is simply a matter of when we will happen across them. Everyone landed in the same area. They have to be around here somewhere. Friends, look here! 
Ricky find it yesterday when Ricky goes scouting. <sighs> I wonder where this pipe leads. Go, go! Ricky has feeling Shulkan friends are on other side. Feeling? Well, I'm willing to give your knock on instinct a try. As am I. The pipe it is. A village in a place like this. Malia! Shulk! Guys! You're all right! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> and. <laughs> we found Fiora. Dunban! Fiora? Do you. remember me? Mm hmm Sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. I'm just so glad you're alive. Oh, dear brother. Shulk, is that your childhood friend? Yeah. Congratulations. I'm glad she is safe. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. But how did you all get here? And 
What is this place, anyway? <gasps> These people helped us. Huh? This is their home. Your surprise is understandable. We are the Machina. The people of Mekonis. Machina? You mean... machine people? You look as if you have many questions. But please, take a look around our village first. We will talk after that. I will be waiting in front of the building we call Junks. What do you need?
How are you? So, are you Mekon? In one sense we are, and in another we are not. It is a fact that the weapons you call the Mekon were created by our civilization. However, we were born from the Mekonis. By your understanding, it would be correct to say that we are the same as Mekon. A form of mechanical life born of the Mekonis. Is that correct? From our perspective, you are forms of organic life born of the Bionis. Life born of the Mekonis? So there is life here, just like on Bionis. Explain to us why you invaded our world. What did we ever do to you? I understand your feelings, but please, there is much yet to tell you. Dunban, please hear her out. But... These Machina, they're good people. Fiora? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? W why didn't you tell me sooner? I'm okay. Really. Nonsense. I am a doctor. Do not worry. I specialize in people in your... situation. Just as I thought, you were transformed into a face unit. You are experiencing a functional breakdown in multiple locations. I will take her to my laboratory. The Chief will answer your questions. He is waiting for you in junks. For us? We will speak later. Shulk, I'm... Fiora. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. Thanks. <laughs> I get a kick out of seeing people's faces every time. <laughs> we were told that you were waiting for us. That's right. I've been waiting a long time. Waiting for you to accept my request. Request? But first, let me ask. The sword the young man is holding. Is that the Monado? It is. And the destruction of the fortress on the sword. Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although, unfortunately, we were unable to stop Egil. Egil? Do you know him? He claims to be the leader of Maconis. This Egil that you fought is one of our people. He's my son. Your son? Actually... My request is about him as well. Ah. I want you to kill Egil. Dearest Homs and Nopon representatives, 
my humble gratitude for accepting our invitation. I am Kalyan Antiqua, regent of the Hyentia. We all know who you are. You Hyentia have kept yourselves safe, remaining spectators to our destruction. Why call upon us now? As stated in my invitation, it is our intention to form an allied force from the peoples of Bionis, with which we will confront Mekonis. <laughs> Look at you. One little scratch and you're already crying for help. I cannot deny this. The attack did serve as the catalyst, but the fact remains that things have changed. When we needed help at the Battle of Sword Valley, our cries were ignored. Give me one good reason why we should bother. Huh? I understand your anger. Our selfishness was inexcusable. However, please hear what I have to say. Listen to why our stance has changed. <laughs> Stop talking if you like, but no promises we'll stick around till the end. We High Entia were mistaken. We believed that if we were attacked by the Mekon, our power alone could repel them. But a brave group of young heroes showed us the error of our ways. When the Mekon descended upon Aerith Sea, Shulk fought with a courage I have never seen. I was most surprised to see that this group was comprised of different races. Homs, Nopon, High Entia. Although different, they trusted one another as friends. As just one inhabitant of Bionis, I desired to... No, I felt compelled to become strong like them. Mm. Their strength came from the Monado. Bravery only gets you so far in this world. Then you will not join us? Hold your horses, son. I said they didn't win with bravery alone, but they wouldn't have got far without it. All right, you can count on our help. The Nopon will join too. The Hum Hum and Bird people are friends of the Nopon. We will fight together. Dixon, are you leaving? Yeah. It's just I felt this sudden pain in the neck. Is that your response? Don't go jumping the gun there, Prince. I'll leave the colony's forces with old Atharon here. You can use them however you want. I've got somewhere I need to be. Might I ask where? A battle's more than just a head-on assault. The sooner you realize that, the better. I better go and remind Shulk and all. So you know of their whereabouts? I told you. I've got a pretty good idea. Dixon! Yeah? If you should meet Shulk... What? I have something I want you to tell him. You want us to kill your son? That is no small request. There are hardly any of us Machina left on Mechonis. Back when the Bionis and the Mechonis were fighting, the Bionis almost completely wiped us out. I suppose the Bionis just didn't want us around. Lady Maynard fought the Bionis for us. In the end, the two Titans wounded each other and entered a deep slumber. Who was Lady Maynard? The creator of Mechonis. You could say that she is the Mechonis itself. It's all like you saw all this. Ain't this all just an ancient myth? <laughs> I know I look young, but I'm actually quite old. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. You can't be serious. The people of Makonis must have a longer lifespan. Just like we High End here live far longer than Homs. I get that. But he can't have lived that long. But why do you want your son dead? From what you've told us, I would have thought you'd want us to destroy the Bionis rather than kill your own son. Bagil was a brilliant young man. Clever, strong, and kind to the less able. But he never forgave the Bionis for what it did, and he swore to take revenge. So he wants to do to us what the Bionis did to the Machina? Correct. Bagil is trying to eradicate all innocent life on Bionis. He has to be stopped. Didn't you ever try to stop him? We tried once. A lot of people were killed. He's blinded by revenge. Even Lady Maynard herself couldn't convince him to stop. 
Where is Egil now? Most likely the Mekonis capital. He's trying to restore its former glory all by himself. I feel sorry for him. Oi! What are you talking about? Did you forget what he did to us? I haven't forgotten or forgiven. But Egil's clearly suffered a lot in his life. You don't feel any sympathy at all? All I know is, this stinks. Who cares what he's been through? Rhine. I understand about Egil. But why us? You should be aware that Shulk's sword, the Monado, has the power to destroy Mekonis' weaponry. It's said that it was once the sword of the Bionis. Doesn't the very sight of it make you quiver? Zanta. Huh? Oh, just talking to myself. If you're gonna kill Egil, you'll need all of that sword's power. That's how strong Egil is. But enough talk. You must be tired. Take your time and think it over. Until the young lady's treatment is finished, feel free to spend time in our village. <laughs> She has done well to survive such injury. What do you mean? Is she sick? Since you seem to have knowledge of Hom's medicine, I'll explain it like this. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Am I correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a Mekon? That's right. She has been transformed into a Mekon's central nerve unit. Her blood can now circulate through a Mekon's components. How? I believe her immune system is now configured for compatibility with the Mekon. That's why her strength has depleted. But you can treat her, can't you? Please. Of course. Even as a Mekona doctor, I cannot turn a blind eye to this butchery. With our equipment, she will regain her strength, but she will be stuck with this body. I cannot restore her flesh and blood, Hom's body. That's okay. I don't want to be a burden to Shulk. I don't care if I have a machine body. Just make it so I can fight beside him. Viora, leave it to me. If that is your wish, I'll do my best. I must implant a new circulation system for her immune functions. But we have one problem. A problem? I don't have a piezoelectric unit, which is required to control such a system. As long as she remains on this bed, the life support machine can compensate. But to move around freely, she must have the piezoelectric unit. The same unit is used in Mekon, so if you were to find some Mekon parts... But where? Well, outside of the village at the base of Digit 5, there's a beach. Debris from above washes the shore there. You might be able to find one among the Mekon wreckage. We'll take a look. The beach at the base of Digit 5, right? Yes. It gives off a faint red glow, so it might be easier to find at night. Reckless. 
Backlash! You never stood a chance. Let's press off. Let us hurry onward. Backlash! Good job, everyone. Let us remain vigilant. Let's press off. Genuine article. I think we found it. Is this the Paizo electric unit? Yes, that's it. Well done. Leonardo, will Fiora be okay now? She'll be fine. It will just take me a little time to reconfigure and install the unit. Leave it to me. You get some rest. But... Shulk, do you want her to see you looking exhausted when she wakes up? You're right. I'll try and get some rest. Thank you for everything you're doing. 
Uh, by the way... Yes? The Chief says he wants to speak with you. I think it's about Egil. I'll go and see him. He wants Egil stopped. And so do we. But I need to sleep on it. Good. You mustn't overburden yourself. We will help you in any way we can. Thank you. Um... How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I wanted to, uh, um, talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? Yes. We agree with you. Egil must be stopped. But we can't act now. Oh? Why is that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Munkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid? He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them, before it's too late. Well, you could always ask me to do it. Dixon! What are you doing here? I can't believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other. Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world. And we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this is where you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. I wondered where you were getting it from. I thought it was fine as long as it helped Shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but it disintegrates anything it touches. But only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm. Bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Anyway. For now, just don't let any of it touch you. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. Let me think about it for a bit. Fiora. Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. 
Dunban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive. And now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't you? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs? There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end here prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. When the Allied force attacks Maconis, you don't need to join the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callion said that. I was pretty surprised, too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So, what are you gonna do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Maconis capital. You're gonna take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mikol, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mechonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Fiora, are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things you needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Well, when I think about everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force, yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. Are you going? Yes. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea? Is she a machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil. But she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but... We'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> Good luck. Fiora, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? 
Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. But if there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonardo. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Off you go, kid. I'm counting on you and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. Why did that face betray me? And that light? No, that is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Homs female. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. So it is this male. The boy Shulk remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. Shulk, take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk, Fiora, take care in your journey. We will. Linada. Thank you for everything. 